Welcome back to Family of Love, and happy last day of 2015. I don't know how this year's been for you, but for me, it's been a total whirlwind. We've had five people live with us from three different countries. I had a friend visit for about a month. I spent about two months going to different camps, visiting my friends from the first eight years of my life, and spent a little bit of time patient by Mount Fuji. I graduated. I cut about a foot and a half from my hair. It's probably been the craziest, busiest, and yet, in some ways, the loneliest year of my life. Through this year, I've learned a lot of things, and here are just a few of the things that I've learned this year. Plans change. I went into this year planning on graduating a year early, which I did, and then moving back to the States to start college, but for some reason, I decided to take a gap year, and honestly, I don't even know what made me decide to do that because when I first started talking about doing the gap year I barely even knew what was coming out of my mouth and it was like whoa where did that come from and there was a lot of talks and trying to decide whether or not I should do it and yeah I ended up deciding on a gap year try new things I usually throw myself out what I'm doing which is usually school and I don't give myself any time to do anything else but this year, I took the time to start the YouTube channel, try to start a blog. I started making the lip balm and selling those and the cards. I did more with my photography, and I just kind of put myself out there trying different things instead of just focusing on school. And people will let you down. I tend to be a perfectionist, and through that, I tend to try to be a people pleaser. So if I'm not making people happy or no one's talking to me, I feel like I'm failing in some way. So this year I learned it's important to be understanding when other people don't meet your expectations. You have to realize that you're not always going to meet your own expectations and just kind of forgiving yourself. And This year I had definitely had a few lows and the good news is no matter how low I felt, I always knew that there was someone there for me no matter how distant I felt from him. Um, God is always there for you regardless about how horrible you feel or how distant you feel. He loves you, forgives you, and gives you hope. Even when someone seems perfect on the surface, no one really is. And when you find yourself comparing yourself or putting yourself down because you may not be as good as someone else, it's important to realize that everyone falls short of the glory of God. Everyone fails and we're all struggling to live life. You never know what someone's going through. Even if they have a perfect appearance, you never know what they could be going through. So it's really important to always encourage and love people. And I'm not just saying that to... I'm not just saying it to you guys, I'm saying it to myself too because I personally am not a big complimenter. I don't take them very well and I don't give them very often or well. And to put this into practice, I wanted to encourage you. You are beautiful and loved. You have worth, you have value, and you have purpose. And you can do anything through Christ who gives you strength. I hope you have a great rest of the year and celebration. Maybe time with family and friends. I'd love to hear what you guys learned this year. So comment below, subscribe. Don't forget to always choose love. Bye.